Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how we can use uh, Power Apps and AI Builder for the aim of object detection. <clears throat> so as you can see here, we have uh, three types of the green tea, green tea rose, mint and cinnamon. We are going to create an object detection application that's able to detect the these objects in the picture. So to do that, I have a different uh, position of this T in different location uh, with different lighting and also different combination. So we are going to create an application that able to uh, learn from these pictures and then later on able to detect them in any picture. So uh, let's see that how it works. Okay, so you need to go to the Power Apps, so login into your Power Apps and the simplest uh, subscription that you will be get is via Office 365. So uh, login into your Power Apps uh, with your company account. Then you see that here we have AI Builder function. But before I'm going through that, uh, just an overview. Okay, so uh, as you see, uh, you can actually set up the database. So here is my uh, original uh, account that is on Radacat. I didn't access to any common data services. So that means that I need to go to the admin center, going to the admin center. Uh, I need to create a new environment that access to common data services or CDS. So in the admin center, there is an environment here. So you can add a new environment. So you can click on add, add a new environment. Uh, and um, when you create it, it actually is ask you to create a database for the environment. I'm already created that one. So I'm creating AI builder for that purpose. So here I'm just switch to the environment that I know it has uh, the CDS one. So now if I'm click on AI builder and build, I'm able to see the uh, algorithm that helped me to do the uh, object detection and the other. So this is the first step. In the next, next step, I need to import the data. So if I click on object detection, you will see that this gives me the, some required data. One is the object name, another one is images. So I need to make sure that before creating the model, I have access to both of them. So I have a data set. As you see, I have the label of the teas, rose tea, mint tea, and green tea. So this is the label that I have. Also, uh, regarding the data set, I have a training data set that about uh, around 30 different images of the tea with different location, with different object. And I'm going to create a model to train the model based on Let's first, uh, I need to import the data. To import the data to the CDS, I need to go to the data entities. And here I need to import the data. So here you see that we have the option of get data. So I'm click on that. Okay, so I need to change it to green tea test data, just save it. Okay, so now I'm going to actually to specify which data set I'm going to get. So it's the Excel one. Uh, that's a, uh, yeah, that's the Excel one. I'm going to import as the uh, Excel. And I'm already, uh, I'm already put it into the blob storage here. So I'm just copy that one back to the environment here. Put it here and it's going to connect to the blob storage. So if you want to use the Excel on premises, so this is Excel in cloud in blob storage, for if you have an Excel in your computer, you need to actually have a gateway. So here, because it's a cloud, I don't need to do that. So here, <clears throat> this is the data that I have, it's about green tea, you can see that one. So now I'm going to transfer the data. Under the transformation of the data, so uh, for example, I need to uh, 
use the first row as a header so i use transform table to use that one and then uh, uh the rest is should be fine so i have a data set here as a label name uh, and you, actually i can do that however if you need other kind of data transformation you can see combining uh, the table at the column at the index column and the rest you can do here so it's so similar for the people who works with data flow it's a simple version of the data flow that we have here and you can see we like a power query uh, it's a power query environment we're able to see the data transformation and the rest so i'm going to the next step in the next step i need to do some mapping between what i have so this is a this is not an existing one it's a new one so i said load to the new entity here i need to select what's the primary one that is the label uh, and it's provide me a message that it should be text label so yep that's okay and i want to delete the rows that no longer exist in the query so i can also change it to test so i can distinguish from what i have so it should be fine now uh, if you have a, a primary key you can specify here otherwise just click on next okay so now it's ask us about refresh setting so you can ask to refresh uh, automatically or you can ask refresh manually so i use the refresh manually here and it's going to create a data set a, a data entity in uh, command data services is take a couple of minutes to create it so you should see some information about creating entity and the process and uh, is actually after that uh, the data will be loaded and you will see that how it actually work so once download you can see the status is complete and click on that now in the list you should probably see that one so i just put a refresh so as you see it's here green tea test is already imported so now i did that one i have the data set i'm going to create to build my model so click on object detection i will put a name so i'll send a t detection and i'm going to create the model there are also some example here if you wish uh, or you can create your own and uh, so uh, it's really important that you have lots of pictures as much as many pictures you have and the model will be better so here it is a process so we, the first step is select object name add image tag image and train the model so here we need to select the object name or from that uh, the one that already imported into common data services so here you see there are some hint here why do you need to select object name you will use the name you selected as a tag as a label your image what if i don't don't see my data so it actually should be on common data services so there are some help uh, in each step that help you to see that to do that uh, so i'm click on select object name you can also search for that so this is green t1 i need the field label and just select that so and i say that okay i need all of them so all of them has been actually selected and i'm going to the next step to add the image so uh that's why that actually because here we use common data services in when you're using uh, this model inside uh, actually other uh, application like microsoft flow you need to actually to be in an environment that has solutions so that's the main reason so i'm going to add the image so just i'll copy the place of my image here add i'm going to put the picture the uh, the train one here so that's a one i'm going to add all of the image for training upload to the image here okay so i just done these pk have been added now we are going to tag them so i'm going to the next step tag image 
So here for the each image, I need to specify what object we can see here. Uh, there are some important things that um, you must tag at least 15 images for each object. So that means that, for example, for uh, each uh, green tea rose, I need to add at least 15 object there so uh, that's really important this does is help so adding more image may increase the performance and uh, can be helped to get a better solution so i'm clicking on the new and the here click on that so this is the picture that i have and i mentioned that this is green tea rose so i'm going to the next one uh, the other one that actually is this one so again you can uh, simply select the environment here. This is green tea rose again. So click on that, going to the next one. So you need to do all for all pictures here. So that's the means and the rest. So um, you need to make sure that you have tag all of them uh, and make sure that actually you choose the correct one. Otherwise is mis the, kind of mislead the algorithm. Okay, so this is the last one. As you see, if I click my mouse, it's actually able to identify the location, but sometimes it's maybe not that much accurate. So for example, like this, so it's already included. So I need to specify the location myself. So just check all of them. So here is actually, you can see that how we have, so I'm done editing and you can see the thing. So we have 15, uh, for green tea, 17 for green tea mint, and 17 for green tea roses. So I'm going to then, so I'm already tag each image with a location. I'm going to the next step. In the next step, you is actually is going to train your model. So you will see the message, your model is training, and it will take a while to actually uh, to train the model. While is actually is uh, creating the model, we can go and see the other models that we have here. So you see that the model that is training, you will see the status that is training. Uh, there are some, uh, some of them has the tag as live. So that means that they are able to be used in other, but some of them not like this one it is not live yet. So if you want to use it, you need to actually to make uh, to make publish it. I will show you that how to do that. So this uh, as after that is finished. So that means that it uh, kind of the finish and is not any more gray. Then you can publish your model. You also able to click on that. So just wait till it is finishing the training. Okay. The model has been uh, created. I'm just going to the model and uh, you can test it. So you can click on here and uh, drag and do a test. So I'm going to get from test model and it's going, I'm, uh, these are the pictures that I didn't train. So I'm going to see that how it work for them. Uh, just a couple of seconds take to identify so green tea rose this one is not really good and this green tea mint which is correct so here you can also publish it so you publish it to the uh, service when you publish it actually then you can consume it in uh, power apps and flow in this demo i'm not going to show the whole one just very simple that how you can use it and in the next videos i will show you how you can use it in the other process uh, for example, uh, create the model here, then using the Microsoft flow to automatically detect any picture we have. So when you actually publish it, uh, is there is a possibility to create an app out of that. So I'm click on that. It's going to open Power Apps. Also, if you back to the uh, models, you will see that after we publish it, now is actually the model status is live and you can use it in other so here very simple one t detection i put a name on the phone format and i'm create a simple application here to see that uh, if you wanted to use at the once how you can do that 
so here so these are the power-ups environment if you go to the insert and to ai builder you will see we have the object detector uh, icon here so when i click on that it's going to uh, bring the list of the object detector that i've already created and so and you can able to choose which object detector you want to use so i have a t detection i use that one and if i run it oh sorry i need first to bring the test and is able to kind of detect that so you can then use any uh, most of the um, parameter that you have here so this is green tea rose green tea meat and green tea cinnamon also if you're interested you can uh, add a label here to show or add a table here to show the result to see that how it actually work so uh, that's a kind of the simple application you can create in the other uh, videos hope so i wish i will show you that how you can create an application or use it in microsoft flow thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it and looking forward to other creating other video on ai builder and also ai in other in power bi and also in uh, azure one thanks so much